What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another deck profile here on TCG University for the card game Universes. My name's Tam, and today we're going to be going over James's Spike 2 Dot deck under air. This deck has got some unbelievably cool combos, and I'm excited to show you down uh, below. Let's get rocking. All right, so this is Spike 2 Dot. If you haven't seen one of these universes profiles, um, basically, as opposed to just laying out the cards and just showing you what it is that uh, the card text is, um, you have a UFS Ultra link for that in the description down below. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be telling you um, how the deck works and the cool combos that it wants to do. So what's the elevator pitch for Spike? Spike um, is kind of a cheater because twice per turn he makes it after an attack resolves, he discards it from the card pool, and then in hands commit, he can take and give his tech attack, or give his attack multiple one, and if it was a tech attack, he can take a foundation and toss it underneath his character as a momentum so that his multiple one is essentially free. He trades a, he trades a resource, he turns the foundation into another attack. And so... This card's very, 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 very strong. Um, it's fallen off of favor a little bit because of a, a couple of silver bullets that exist inside the format. But if your opponent doesn't have those silver bullets, this card is just as strong as ever. So for any uh, Spike fans out there, here is a, here's this really rad air list. So the first thing I want to talk about is this very unfair possibly should have been banned card M3C Devastator Plasma Cannon. Um, Plasma Cannon is a four high for nine that says whenever it leaves, whenever it leaves the combat, uh, Whenever it leaves the card pool during the combat phase, ready my character. So I can enha uh, enhance, kick it with spike. It's going to discard. Spike, add my momentum. Multiple one. So now I for free, I've got a four high for nine, four high for nine. And then when the, the resolution of the attack happens, it'll clear. Spike will ready, and then I can kick this one as well. And so I've taken this one major 18... Uh, I took 9 damage worth of attacks, and I turned them into 18 without necessarily doing anything. I shuffled around one resource. And here's the really, really crazy part. This is response card pool. After your opponent plays an enhance ability during this attack's enhance step, they lose 2 vitality. So if they try to do anything to make the speed a little lower, or maybe they can't quite block it, and they gotta make the damage a little lower, well, they're just gonna keep burning for, for 2 vitality every time that they attempt to do something because of how strong this card is. This card is absolutely nutty inside of Spike, and inside of a ton of other characters. Um, you should definitely pick up a play set of these. Next, we're playing Triple Swordfish Plasma Cannon. This card is not quite as good as a uh, Devastator Plasma Cannon, but it's just it, it it can be in its own right. So it has multiple ones, so it can have multiple one and multiple one with Spike. Um, the Air Enhance, which Spike has the Air Symbol, Ready of Foundation, and it just gets real big. It's possible just to multiple three out this deck, and the the point of this deck is to steal free momentum, multiple out a deck, uh, multiple out uh, as much as we can, clear our card pool as much as we can, and give a bunch of free stats. Uh, the, the word free is written all over this deck and so if you want a, a bunch of moving pieces this spike deck is the way to go um these are these can be three six high for sixes which um kills almost every seven hand size character um it's 18 damage but in order for you to get those that extra all that extra momentum um unless you have the compact uh, the card text ability they have to you've got to hit somebody first and so we're assuming you've touched them at least a little bit if not maybe this wasn't the first attack that you played <laughs> We've got Triple Space Salvo. It's one of the best pokes that Spike has. Um, it says if it's the only card in the card, only attack of the card pool, it gets two damage. And then if it is cleared in the card pool, the next attack of this turn gets plus two speed and one damage. So it turns your Devastator Cannons even more devastating. They're six high for tens um, by Space Salvo pitch, Devastator Cannon pitch. And then you've got a clear card pool and you threw a three, uh, excuse me, a uh, three mid for a five and a six high for ten. That's that's 15 damage if they didn't have any cards in their hand. Not to mention the multiple that we get to play off a of spike. Speaking of free momentum, we got Swordfish Gunfire. Uh, after it leaves, grab a momentum. Besides that, it doesn't necessarily do anything else, but it just really it sets up for really fast plays with a uh, Swordfish Plasma Cannon. It sets up for some real real fast stuff. Yeah, it's like a jet. It's going real fast. Like a not the jet the character jet the jet the vehicle. <laughs> um, here's the uh, the main two kill conditions of the deck, honestly. Um, the first one is Slide Shots. Slide Shots says multiple two, and then after its attack, after this attack resolves, you may flip one foundation to discard it from your card pool. And so this card by itself is just nine damage inside a spike, not to mention any of the other buffs that we get to give it that we'll get to. And then we can clear just a ton of cards in our card pool. 
right now, all of our attacks, except for uh, Devastator Cannon and the uh, regular Swordfish Plasma Cannon, aren't doing very much. But because of the amount of cards that we're clearing from our card pool, there's foundations and assets that get to bump up the damage. Not unsimilar to our number one kill card, Ace Maneuver. Yeah, I saved the best for last. This card says, enhance this attack, it's plus two damage for each card that has left my card pool this turn. So... Easy things that I can do is I can have the I can have this I can have slide shots and I can have just uh I don't know um, we'll say the MC3 all right this seems this seems fine enough um, I can take and plasma cannon I will uh, enhance with spike commit with spike I'll grab a free momentum I haven't played these quite yet um, and then it will kick, I'll ready spike, I will slide shots, I will enhance on spike and it will kick, I'll commit and I'll grab my free momentum, I will multiple two, and so here's a nine damage, here's nine damage plus another nine damage, and then spike will resolve, this will kick, and then the abilities on slide shots will continue, and so I can flip a foundation and then discard this one, and then this flip a foundation after this one resolves, discard this one, and then play my ice maneuvers, and for essentially free, I've had four cards leave my card pool, this thing's gonna get plus eight damage. Wow, that's a ton. <laughs> that's a, that's that's a lot of damage. Not to mention if I have any other uh, ways to clear cards. Um, there's really really strong stuff. It's got a base five high speed and played as the fifth attack and getting plus eight damage. This is probably gonna kill them. This is the, the ace maneuvers is. Our Ace Maneuvers is the uh, primary kill condition in the deck. Um, everything else is just a threat to make Ace Maneuvers more alive. So, moving on, I want to go ahead and talk about the assets, and I put them in a very specific order just because of uh, how important I feel they are. The first one is uh, uh, Loka. Uh, Loka says that if I don't have a momentum, I can flip a foundation and grab one once per turn. And so what I do is, is as opposed to having to commit spike a bunch of times in order to grab my momentum, I just flip a foundation, grab it, and now I can commit spike, and now i got two momentum. And so my... My Devastator Cannon, excuse me, my, my Plasma Cannon, the 5 diff, is just instantly on for the multiple 2 whenever I have this card out. Um, for the same way that Rekamaru and Mekimaru g lets me draw cards every time cards clear, as well as um, when... X amount of cards clear, um, I can commit and give something plus damage. So that Ace Maneuver that got plus uh, 8 damage, it can get an additional 4 damage. And that's for sure going to kill every 7-hander in the game. The next one is Fatty Ball. If any of my uh, attacks down here were Fury, it can get plus two speed and plus one damage. But more importantly, it says enhance commit uh, response commit after you add any number of cards from your uh, to your momentum. Um, add a card from your hand to your momentum. So it's just it's like a worse version of uh, of Sila Loca. Um, these two work together in order just to help fuel spike just a little bit quicker, a little bit faster in order to turn your bad foundations into good attacks. And then the last uh, foundation or asset I have, excuse me, is Swordfish 2. I put this guy last, even though arguably it's like one of the best assets in the entire game. It negates an entire attack. It gets uh, it gives itself a momentum, so it's basically these same cards. But instead, it also has a spike enhance of ready one foundation by committing it. So it, it kind of counts as a foundation. It, this card's fine, but it is not what the deck wants to do, so it, it's at the very end. Um, up next, we've got the uh, actions, and the actions are okay. The actions are fine, like I said. Um, this one is enhance, remove, add a foundation from my discard pile to my hand or from my card pool to my staging area. The way the spike works is he just cares about cards leaving the card pool as opposed to being quote unquote discarded. And so if I build in a, I build in a foundation and then let's cut loose it down to my staging area, it counts towards uh, ace maneuvers. Uh, triggers. It counts towards its storm count. In addition to Bang, Bang's just an all-around solid tech choice when it comes to there are plenty of cards in the game that I don't want my opponent to use on uh, either a defensive turn or an offensive turn. This card just shuts them off and that includes my opponent's character. And so, hey, don't play the cool things on your my, on your character. I want to play the game. I want to end your turn so, we can, so I can keep playing again. On to the foundations. Um, I want to talk about the cool stuff that interacts with all of the tech and the uh, the 
the attack lineup in the deck, and then we can move on to the text pieces afterwards. So the first thing I want to talk about is the one who wanders. It says, uh, form, destroy, reveal the top four cards of your deck, add one attack, attack, uh, reveal this way to your hand, discard the rest. And so, man, I was sure if I had one more attack, I could probably kill you. Form, I'll find that attack. This card is very, very underrated, especially because it has this amazing response card pool after you play it, uh, seal one of my opponent's foundations. It's possible that one of these foundations is really going to mess me up. So after I block with it or after I play it, like it's really, it's really solid to like play the one who wanders and then this is a bad attack to play, but play an attack and then you get to let's cut loose this card down. It counts as, it counts as having left the card pool as well as, um, you get to draw an additional card as well as now this thing is life. So if I need another attack, I can form and get rid of it. This card is incredibly, incredibly strong. And it's not, it's really not played very much inside of Spike. People value other cards instead and they're kind of silly for it. Um, fighting what was lost. This is the MVP. This is the best uh, card in the entire deck. By far, there is no second choice. Um, this deck is plus one damage for every card that's left your card pool this turn. That includes Let's Cut Loose. That includes Spike. That includes kicking the multiples off of uh, uh, slide shots. This is the best card. This is the way that we take our baby attacks and we turn them into uh, every attack is going to kill you because it says twice per turn and not once per turn. So if I get, I don't know, two of these out, each of these are going to probably give... give anywhere from from six to eight damage um each so just uh you know just hey this devastator cannon it's getting another plus eight damage wow oh, seems fair seems fair we're playing triple cleaning the fish uh this card is really good it's just another copy of spike enhanced destroy discard one tech or weapon card from my card pool and so i get to trigger more finding what was lost more uh ace maneuvers and then it's got a really red deadlock enhance that says uh, your tech or weapon attack gets plus one speed, plus one damage, and stun one, and that doesn't have a commit cost. It's just, hey, did you build eleven foundations? Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make everything uh, real, real meaty. The last cool spike card, almost using all of spikes kit, is a uh, response commit flip after a card is added to your momentum you can add the top card of your deck to your momentum very similar to uh, uh maxi's nunchucks it's just more momentum generation as quickly as we can possibly have it happen and so i can uh it's also this is a really good target because it commit flips in order to commit with spike and grab another momentum and so it's possible that we just get to to load up on our momentum just as quick as we can pretty good stuff on to the cool cards that are not necessarily a uh, tech or spike related but uh are, are very ancillary we got fuma shadow uh enhanced lose two vitality this is the only attack in its owner's card pool it gets plus two or minus two speed um i would be super down to pay two to block something that's 10 damage i'm i'm very much down for that uh, i uh, <laughs> and so either i keep kicking cards out of their card pool with spike i get to kick two cards which means i get to trigger this thing three times to just try and perfect block everything or i can kick two of my own cards and use this thing three times to make sure that they don't block things and then desperation form discard one card from either player's card pool it's just another cleaning the fish we're playing double last pieces of the wind because spike gives uh stuff multiple um we can uh response flip after a multiple attack is played get rid of it so it's really good on the swordfish card or the um slide shots and then once i've played the multiple your face down attack is plus one speed plus one damage seems good just that's just like a really really solid uh that's just a really really solid piece on a two five two bit block excuse me we're playing double dancing blade so the cool part about this card is uh it's either super rad because i get to take and pick up the um I get to pick up and pick up the attacks that I've already touched you with, or I get to pick up the foundations that I've used with Spike. Um, enhance, commit, add this, uh, add one face down card from my card pool. Uh, commit, add one face down card from my card pool to my hand. Excuse me. Wow, that was really hard to say. And so if it was a it was a foundation that I need in order to, that I want to build again that I've used up with Spike, maybe it was a a, a, a face down that my opponent flipped. When I and I get to reuse this, um, and then commit since it's once again it's commit flip it comes in this way spike now gets to shove it in his momentum so we can just kind of loop these if we really want to i'm not sure why we would but we can um initiate launch uh once per turn after my i play a key after a keyword ability is played twice per turn ready this foundation uh spike gives things multiple one so i will commit this uh multiple one all right we'll ready it back up seems easy enough 
We're playing Four Hell's Reach. This card uh, readies itself as well. We're into the uh, we're into the hey, I want to keep playing cards, so I need to have more foundations than it appears. Uh, this card counts as eight foundations all by itself. You commit it once for its ability, and then ready it back in, then commit it again. Um, so each one of these counts as two on a zero five. Very very strong stuff. We're playing one God of Thunder. Destroy a garbage committed foundation to ready a cool committed foundation uh really really strong you should definitely be playing this in every air build you possibly can wander pirate works the same way as god of thunder lets you be just a little bit more aggressive and uh ready some stuff up that maybe you uh you pushed a little too hard it lets you defend yourself um on to the defense here's like we're down to six cards there is no defense in this deck we're playing three fueling up um it says after my uh my opponent would try and reduce my damage for me trying to kill them stop it and they will lose two vitality as well as ageless one wise if you try and remove a card from my staging area stop it i want to make sure that that stays there but there is no minus damage there is no minus speed um we're just playing a really honest game um i guess there is minus speed on the fuma seal but like we're playing just a really honest game of un uh, universes as i just try and shoot you with a real big ship all right, so that was James's Spike 2 dot deck. Let us know how you uh, like the deck profile under air in the comments down below. Leave him a cute little love message. If you like this deck, let us know by going out to the Twitch Pitch Twitch Picks Campus Championship. That was a mouthful. And uh, looking at and seeing all the cool Spike uh, Spike matches that were played. Um, if you want to support the show, please go out to patreon.com slash tcguniversity and sub out there at the $1 level to get access to the Discord, where we can have a big, long uh, chat about how Spike 2 is the, the best character in the game, the best damn deck as it would, and then why why we should uh, why we should change it up and make it a life or a death build. Maybe next time. So, from all of us here at TCGU, stay alert, and thank you very much for watching. Mm -hmm.